Hi all folks, this is Max from Zetomax.com and NexusSHacks.com. Um, so today we're going to install the MIUI ROM for the Nexus S. Um, it's a completely different UI from um, other ROMs um, based on a Chinese developer, I think. Anyway, go copy the two files. There's a MUI Android blah blah dot zip and there's another MUI with uh, EN pack, which means English pack. It comes as Chinese, but you you can install the English pack after you um, install the ROM. But I'll go through it so no one gets confused. So copy it over to your Nexus S. That's two two zip files. I have links below. Turn it off. Turn off the um, USB mass storage, and then we'll go to um, ROM Manager. If you don't have ROM Manager, just go download it. And you must be on a rooted phone, of course. If you're not on a rooted phone, and don't leave comments saying, Hey man, this thing doesn't work on my phone. <laughs> anyway. So I'm installing new ROM manager. If you, if this is the very first time you install a ROM manager, uh, and if you have a rooted phone, then you can do the flash clockwork mod recovery, the top button, and then choose next success. Uh, but I don't have to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up the current ROM and install the MUI, me, M I U I ROM. Install ROM from SD card. Go find that file, update uh, uh, MUI Android, the one without the EN. That's the actual ROM file. This one. All right. So we're gonna hit that button, and we're gonna back up existing ROM, wipe data, and cache, and hit OK, and hit OK, and allow. And what this will do is uh, it will back up your current ROM. My current ROM is the ROM I just reviewed. Uh, that one is, what was it called? Oh, that one's called Open Soju. It's all right, but uh, I wanna try the Mi, M-I-U-I ROM. Um, the right way to pronounce it, I've been going back and forth with a bunch of readers. Uh, it's Mi Ui. <laughs> and then some, like, some people are like, my UI or something and then some people are like MIUI so I, I figured it's easy to just call it MIUI so when this is done and installs a new ROM it'll reboot by itself so I'll be back when this is done hi all folks so it installed the new ROM and I'm back and by the way if you have Nexus S 4G um, I don't really recommend you uh, putting this ROM I don't think it's great um, if it's for Nexus S 4G, they should have a different zip file. So, that figured out. Um, see, it's in Chinese. Once it's booted up, uh, we're gonna go back into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, so, turn off your phone, hit the power button, power off, and then we're gonna go install the English uh, English file for the Nexus S. Mm. Because, you, you know, otherwise, unless you can read Chinese, I can't. Hit the volume, I think up. Is it down? I'm not sure. I think it's up and then hit the power button. There we go. Yeah, it's up. Volume up and power button. And then we go, uh, we will go down to reboot. No, no. Recovery. Yeah. Recovery. And hit the power button. Where's the power button? Yeah. And then we're going to go flash the English. Uh, pack file and uh, we're gonna go uh, install zip from SD card power button choose zip from SD card power button I wish they made that one button so we don't have to press it twice anyway uh, go down to MUI Android blah 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 EN dash pack that one the second one we didn't and then hit the power button and I wish they had just no and yes. Uh, and hit yes. And this is the English pack um, from MovieAndroid.com. Those are, they don't actually make the ROM. I think they uh, they give you the English pack. Now go back and reboot system now, hit the power button. And I'll be back when this is done. And I'm gonna go load some apps like Limpack, Quadrant, and uh, set CPU um, to show you how much it can be overclocked. Um, I'll be back. And that's the uh, startup stream, by the way. Hi folks, so I've got the phone here. It's still syncing some of my Gmail automatically, so I'm gonna 
wait until that's done for performance testing. Uh, MUI 2.3.4, more information, 2.3.4. Kernel is uh, just a regular kernel. I couldn't overclock it, but they give you a NetArchy kernel 2.3.4 universal that they recommend. So I'm going to go install that. Just install, uh, just download the NetArchy Nexus 1.3.4 blah blah dot zip and copy it over to your SD card and then we'll go on from there. Hi folks, so I've copied over the Net, Nex, uh, NetArchy Nexus uh, 1.3.4 blah blah dot zip. So we're going to turn off our phone, power off, and then we're going to just go flash that file in the uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. When it's powered off, we're going to do volume up and then hit the power button. Volume up and then the power button. Ah, you messed up. When you mess up, you just, just take the battery out. I don't like waiting. Oops. I took the USB with me. It's okay. And what I like about the Nexus S is that it boots up really fast, faster than any other phone. I don't know why, but hold the volume down, uh, volume up, and the power button. There we go. I got into bootloader. So from here, all we're gonna do is uh, go down to recovery, hit the power button. Apply zip from SD card, hit the power button, uh, choose zip from SD card, and then go find the um, NetArchy Nexus 1.3.4 blah blah blah, and hit yes. And this will give us a better, faster kernel. I don't know how, how fast it is, but I think it's about 1.4, I'm not sure. Go back, reboot system now. And actually, let me show you how quickly this thing boots up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, hey, you know what? You know what? Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen seconds, kind of. Maybe like, not too bad, right? Anyway, uh, my phone. I think it's still syncing. I turned the syncing on. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, let me go try. Let me go try. Oh, let me show you the phone first. Uh, basically, you can see it's different menus. Um, the Mui ROM, I kind of like it. I didn't like it on my Evo or my G2. It's kind of buggy, but everything's a lot better. My touch screen is working fine on this one. The camera works. Um, and let me show you. Let me show you uh, the different buttons here. Um, there's a, uh, you can change, uh, let's go to settings. The settings has different menus, which is kind of cool. You get common, uh, personal, um, system, programs. Um, you can also do, uh, well, tethering, of course, about phone. Um, now we just installed the kernel NetArchy, so it changed to the NetArchy. So let's go and find if that improved our speeds from 1 gigahertz to something faster, I hope. Oh, there we go. So now we can go 1.4 gigahertz. Set unboot. I'll put it on performance for now, for testing. And let's go do some Limpack testing. Runs benchmark. So the MIUI ROM, 18.372. With no syncing on, nothing else running. 19.299. 19.29. So I would say roughly around 19.29. That's not too bad at all. Um, I know there's faster ROMs out there, but you know that's decent. I mean, you know, you're not looking to get the fastest, fastest ROM. Then this should work out okay. So 19.35. I'm getting some something between 19, 18 and 20. Now uh, let's just say 19. And then let me run Quadrant for you. Run full benchmark. Um, and I'll be back when this is done.
And it's done. Let's hit yes. And I got 2802. Very similar to other ROMs. Um, not bad at all. So, let me give you a tour of. Uh, let me go to an empty screen here. So, there's a bunch of different widgets you can get on MIUI ROM. You might like it. It's different. You have to press. You can go like this and then you can move stuff like easily. Like that. It, when you get a grid up to move stuff, which is cool. And then you can hit that button to get a bunch of widgets. These are different widgets. Uh, market, home screen, power control. Um, there's actually less widgets, but you can always get more off the market. Not a big deal. Um, let's go back home. And uh, uh, launcher settings. Um, we got the launcher settings, transition effects. Let's try 3D cube. So there's a different bunch of different uh, settings. Oh, there you go. So you see the 3D effect, which is kind of cool, right? Now the the cool part about MIUI ROM is that they got a bunch of free themes. You can go to free theme. Edit theme, no, not this one. Online themes, right? Go to feature, and uh, if you want to turn your Android phone into an iPhone, that's where you go. See that? It's in Chinese, but this one is I know it's the iPhone. Just taking, yeah, there we go. See? Let me download it to show you that you can change themes pretty quickly. Um, yeah, it's downloading up here. I think it's coming from a Chinese server, but they have a bunch of different uh, themes. Let me show you. Look at all these themes, right? You, HTC Sense. I mean, it's not, it's not exactly HTC Sense, but, you know, you can, just, you know, change themes really quickly. Um, themes are your thing, then this ROM is really good for it because they got, like, so many themes. Um, cause you know their themes, uh, they they work on you know all kinds of phones. They have a bunch of ROMs for a bunch of phones. See, it's, there's way too many. I'm not gonna even go over any of them or all of them. I'm just gonna show you the iPhone, and then you can see there's a, a quick buttons, the power control buttons. You can see it in here, but I like having it here, even quicker access. And when you hit the power button, you'll get a Oops. Mm -hmm. When you hold the power button, you get a bunch of more menus. Reboot, power off, guard, airplane mode, silent mode. Yeah. Okay. Get out of here. And this is almost done. No, not, not cancel. I can cancel. No. And uh, everything works out of the box. Oh, now I got 3D, which is cool. Um, I got market, DSP manager. The only thing about this ROM is you won't get the menu button, um, you won't get like, you, there's no button to see all the apps, just apps are loaded on the last page, which is fine. Oh, I really like this. Look at that. Anyway, I might stick with this uh, to see the battery life. Um, I've, I've been getting pretty good battery life on my Nexus S. I guess it's because they've optimized the battery better than most other phones, I think. Um, 83%, oh my god. Um, so, you can get uh, a bunch of different menus, and you can add more screens like this. Add more screens. Um, hit that. Is it like that? Yeah. Hit more, but more. Let's see how many we can make. Okay, nine. Yeah, I think nine's max. And you can sw swap out screens like that, which is kind of cool. Um, so my thing is done here. Let's go back to themes. And, uh, where's my theme that I downloaded? It's the iPhone theme. Yeah, that one. Apply. And then once it's applied, uh, your phone turns into an iPhone. Kind of. <laughs> if you're an iPhone user and you just got an Nexus S, this could help you transition a little bit better. So this is the iPhone theme. I got my Safari. 
Um, so, it's kind of cool, right? Way better than the iPhone, though, with the 3D effect here. Anyway, that's the review of the uh, MIUI. I highly recommend it. This is a ROM that's been tested over time. Um, probably just as good as CM7. Uh, anyway, go try it out. Uh, the three files. The first is the ROM file, and the second one is the English pack. And you can you can pa uh, also zip the NetArchy kernel with the language pack instead of rebooting like I did. Uh, that way it will save you some time. And uh, <clears throat> it's a good ROM, so I might stick with this. Uh, test it out. And uh, if you have any questions or if you want me to review another ROM for the Nexus S, leave in the comments sections below. Thanks for um, watching and subscribe. See you later. Oh yeah, one more thing. I forgot to show you the camera, which is kind of cool. Um, it comes with like anti-shake software, so um, a camera here, see? And I like the camera UI because it's do anti-shake, uh, make the shakes go away, sort of. And uh, what? Wait, wait, how do I do that? Let me see. Yeah, anti-shakes for taking better photos and videos, I think, too. Oh, no, just for the camera. Which is kind of cool. Um, color effect, mono, negative, settings, video quality, 30mm. Um, I turn the flash on, flash off. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the camera. But that's the review of the MIUI ROM. Um, don't forget to check out nexusshacks.com for more ROM reviews and we'll have a uh, ROM um, comparison comparing all the speeds and like you know and stuff so subscribe see you later finally